Hello everyone, I welcome everyone for this wonderful course of bare metal programming in ARM Cortex M processor based out of STM32 F4 series microcontroller. And in this video, we are just going to discuss in detail about the curriculum of this course, what we are going to learn throughout this course. Let's get started. So let me just explain you what and for whom this course is meant for. So this particular course right over here is meant for whoever who is willing to learn ARM Cortex M processor. So the programming in ARM Cortex M is well explained in this course and on undergoing this course you will be able to program from scratch on any ARM Cortex M based microcontroller and in this particular course we will be learning the bare metal programming from scratch on STM32 F4 series microcontroller which is based out of ARM Cortex M and the procedure is common for all the ARM Cortex M based microcontroller and in this particular course we will be learning only the STM32 F4 series microcontroller uh, developed by ST Microelectronics uh, with the core of ARM Cortex M. So this course will guide you step by step and it will walk you through step by step the theory part as well as the practical part of uh, using all the peripherals of the microcontroller and we will be covering almost all the peripherals and uh, all the theory segments and if you are suggesting any more videos just uh, comment me out so that I will try to include that particular video if uh, it is not included. So this starts with a very basic introduction of uh, risk architecture, what is the risk architecture and ARM architecture and we will learn ARM buses and its types, ARM Cortex M based processor introduction, ARM Cortex M architecture and we will discuss in detail about the hardware and software components used throughout this course. And uh, we will be using the light version of uh, Keel Microvision IDE for programming the microcontroller. So you need not buy the software required. I will teach you how to download it for free, the light version, which is capable of programming the microcontroller as per the learning needs. And we will see in detail how the CPU of uh, ARM Cortex M works practically using the IDE and we will get into know about little and big Indian methods inside the processor and we will touch up through some of the basic concepts such as pointers in C language and we will try to implement simple LED blink exercise with the help of uh, pointers in C in ARM Cortex M that is STM32 F4 series microcontroller and then we will brush up through basic bitwise operators in C language and we will learn some of the techniques used for setting and clearing bits in the register of a microcontroller using bitwise operators in C. And we will try to analyze, study some features of uh, Keel Microvision ID and also we will learn some basic C programming features such as type def keyword, structures, structure padding, structures and bit fields, structures and pointers in C language. And we will get you through the CMSYS, which is the Cortex Microcontroller Software Interface Standard, which is common for all the ARM Cortex M microcontrollers. After uh, studying in detail about the CMSYS, we will try to create our own CMSYS structure. That is the CMSYS core for the microcontroller. We will develop it from scratch for our microcontroller without the help of the uh, files provided from the silicon vendor that is the ST microelectronics and then we, then we will learn what are preprocessors in C language and we will modify and alter the program that we wrote and uh, once we got the thorough knowledge of CMC structure of uh, ARM Cortex M we will try to utilize the CMC files provided from the ST microelectronics so that you will be capable of using any CMC file provided from any silicon vendor such as Texas Instrument, STM Electronics, NXP Semiconductors, etc. So, so that you will be capable of uh, programming and uh, building your own application in any ARM Cortex M based microcontroller. Then we will uh, move into the application part using CMSYS from Silicon Vendor. 
we will just test GPIO of peripheral of the microcontroller by interfacing several devices such as LEDs with our microcontroller, 7 segment with our microcontroller, LCD with our microcontroller, etc. And then we will uh, interface, try to interface push buttons with our microcontroller, that is the input device with our microcontroller, and we will implement external interrupts in our microcontroller, and then we will learn cystic timers in STM32 and uh, timers in STM32. Uh, all the variants of timers we will be implementing at least once that is the timer in interrupt mode we will be implementing timer in output compare mode we will be implementing and timer in input capture mode we will be implementing so we will be generating pulses using timer out output compare and we will be reading the time period between two events using input capture that is the timer input capture in the microcontroller so all the timer uh, features we will be demonstrating and we will be producing pwm pulses using pwm module of the microcontroller and then we will uh, try to implement and interface a variable register for demonstrating the adc module that is the analog to digital converter available in the microcontroller and coming to the communication overview we will be demonstrating the uart communication in the microcontroller both the track tx transmission part and receiving part we will be individually discussing and uh, we will demonstrate the SPI serial peripheral interface in the microcontroller by interfacing some basic device like uh, MAC 7219 dot matrix display and we will demonstrate I2C inter-integrated circuits or inter-integrated communication and we will demonstrate it by interfacing a simple EEPROM IC with the microcontroller. So, uh, this is the rough syllabus of this course. So, this will not be the end. I will keep on updating this course with new lecture videos if time permits. And uh, I hope this is the basic structure. And if you learn this particular uh, course in this particular order, you will be capable of uh, almost uh, interfacing any device with this particular ST microelectronics. And also, you will get some idea of. Uh, interfacing and writing your bare metal program in any ARM Cortex M based microcontroller using this CMSYS file provided from the silicon vendor. So I will teach you how to utilize the CMSYS file product when the, provided by the silicon vendor so that you will be capable of using CMSYS file from any silicon vendor such as Texas Instrument, NXP Semiconductors etc. I hope you got to know what are all the things that you are going to learn throughout this course. See you in the next video. Enjoy learning.